Good evening, sweetie. I'm Selena, your fairy of fantastical dreams, dropping by to make sure you have the most enchanting sleep. I'll work my magic so that morning arrives quickly and you can jump back into the world of games with your buddies. Tonight, a special bedtime tale awaits, accompanied by a gentle lullaby just for you. Snuggle into your comfy bed, close those curious eyes, and let the story unfold. Once upon a time, there lived a beautiful queen. One day, while sewing by the window, she accidentally pricked her finger, and a drop of blood fell onto the snow lying on the windowsill. Struck by the crimson color against the snowy backdrop, the queen sighed and said, Oh, how I wish to have a child with a face as white as snow, lips as red as blood, and hair as black as ebony. Soon after, she gave birth to a baby girl named Snow White. Unfortunately, the queen passed away, leaving the baby behind. After some time, the king remarried, but his new queen was selfish and vain, paying little attention to Snow White. Instead, she obsessively consulted a magical mirror, asking who was the fairest of them all. As Snow White grew more beautiful each day, the queen's fear of losing her beauty intensified. One day, the mirror revealed that Snow White surpassed her in beauty. Enraged, the queen plotted to get rid of Snow White. She secretly summoned a royal huntsman and ordered him to take Snow White into the woods, ensuring she wouldn't find her way back. In the dense forest, Snow White, frightened but resilient, stumbled upon a tiny cottage. Hungry and tired, she entered and discovered seven tiny beds and a table with seven plates. That night, the seven dwarfs returned home to find the sleeping Snow White. Touched by her innocence, they decided not to wake her. The dwarfs, cautioning Snow White not to open the door for anyone, left for work each day. Snow White, grateful for their hospitality, abided by their advice and lived harmoniously with them. Back at the castle, the queen learned from the mirror that Snow White was alive and well with the dwarfs. The queen, determined to eliminate Snow White, disguised herself as a peasant woman and tempted Snow White with a poisoned apple. Snow White, enchanted by the beautiful apple, took a bite and fell into a deep sleep. The dwarfs, returning home, found Snow White seemingly lifeless. Overwhelmed with grief, they crafted a crystal coffin for her and placed her atop a high mountain. As fate would have it, a passing prince noticed Snow White in her crystal coffin and was instantly captivated by her beauty. He begged the dwarfs to let him take her to his palace. During the journey to the prince's palace, a piece of the poisoned apple dislodged from Snow White's mouth, and she awoke. Upon seeing the prince, she fell in love. Snow White and the prince were married, celebrating their love and happiness. The dwarfs, overjoyed by her recovery, rejoiced at her newfound bliss. Snow White and the prince lived happily ever after, their love overcoming the trials they faced. The dwarfs continued to be a cherished part of their lives, symbolizing enduring friendship. sleeps her hair of gold seven dwarfs with hearts so true guard her close in a forest dew hush now close your eyes the stars are near snow white dreams with no trace of fear seven dwarfs watch through the night in their care everything's all right dwarfs with names like whispers soft 
happy, grumpy, in moonlight aloft. Sneezy, bashful, dopey, too. Dwarfs with names like Whisper Soft, happy, grumpy, in moonlight aloft. Sneezy, bashful, dopey, too. Sleepy duck in the floor so blue. Hush now, close your eyes, the stars are near. Snow white dreams with no trace of fear. Seven dwarfs watch through the night. In their care, everything's alright.